coach Danielle Penner and the softball team, 2008 was a magical ride. The Bucks reached the NCAA Division II World Series for the fourth time in school history, setting records for consecutive wins and winning percentage. Amber Jack was named Pitcher of the Year in the conference and earned first-team All-America honors. Teammates Christina DeTagle, Ashley Likens, and Megan Young also earned top honors, with DeTagle becoming the Bucks' all-time hit leader. This season, Jack has again been the Bucks' leader in the circle, posting a career high in strikeouts and breaking school career records for wins, saves, strikeouts, shutouts, and walk ratio. Shyla Ryder is closing out an outstanding career. She has already set marks for doubles and at-bats and broke the tackle's one-year-old mark for most hits. Natalie Healy and Ashley Likens have made up half the infield, starting at third and second. Healy leads the team in RBI and walks and is tied for the lead in homers, while Likens leads the infield in fielding percentage and is the toughest buck to strike out. Shortstop Sarah Hipson and first baseman Amanda Geltz, the other half of the infield, have swung big sticks this season. Hipson is third in batting after hitting 400 in April, while Geltz leads the team in doubles and is second in RBI. Brittany Anderson will leave a big role for someone to fill next year as she has caught nearly every inning for the past three years. She has hit over 300 and thrown out nearly 25% of attempted base dealers. The freshman class has shown brightly in their rookie seasons. Designated player Jessica Tabor leads the team in hitting and is tied for the lead in homers and second in RBI. Amber Durkin has patrolled center field and has one of the best batting eyes on the team. Grace Collins and Wright has walked more than she struck out and leads the team in outfield assists and sacrifices. Brianna Smith has been Jack's wingmate in the circle, tossing seven complete games, including a no-hitter. The Bucks closed out the regular season this week and have 10 letter winners back next year, bringing hope for a return trip to the NCAA Regional.